بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل اینڈ دس از پارٹ فائیو آف دس ویڈیو سیریز ان دا لاسٹ پارٹ وی ہیڈ ڈن دا امپلیمنٹیشن آف سینڈنگ دا ای میل یوزنگ میل کٹ لائبریری ان ڈاٹ نیٹ سو وی ول بی کنٹینیوئنگ دس اسٹیپ ایز وی ڈسکس ان دا لاسٹ ویڈیو دیٹ وی ول بی ورکنگ آن دا ای میل ویریفیکیشن پارٹ سو لیٹس بگن دس کوڈ ناؤ If you have not watched all these uh, previous video, then please proceed to these video and then come to the next one. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, then please do the subscribe channel. It's totally free. It doesn't cost any single penny from your pocket. So it's free. Feel free to subscribe this channel, guys. So let's come back to the Visual Studio. And as you have... Uh, seen in the last video that I created this register or sign up API and this was just to test the email functionality so we will we'll be removing this one in this video but uh, let's go to the program.cs first and uh, check the configuration that uh, email is required so I already had added this configuration in the program.cs Uh, builder dot service configure identity option and the option is this required email confirm email is true so this uh, attribute should be the requirement is that a confirmation email is uh, necessary all right so the next step is to come back this uh, authentication control and here we have added the comment that we will be generating the token and will be sending it to the uh, user which you to, the, to that user email which user provide us while doing the sign up in, in this model so uh, right now we need uh, uh, an action result I already have uh, written the code will just paste just to for the sake of time uh, let's copy this let's remove this one we are not required it was just testing okay so the action is the get action and we have defined the name that confirm email and it will take a token and the email once it hits the this action result so it will check uh, the user by the email that this user exists if this user exists then we will uh, confirm the email by this line of code we, so we don't have to write any line of code for confirming the email uh, there is a built-in method in the user manager so you just have to provide the username and the token uh, which you generate so far we have not uh, written the code for generating the token we will be writing uh, basically this action will be hit when you send the email in the email there was a link of this action So when you uh, click on that link, this action will get triggered and all these uh, lines of code will get executed. Okay, so oh, oh, there was a blunder of this. Let's name it at email verified successfully. this user does not exist because we have uh, the check that the user okay so we can refactor this code and make this code better I don't feel this code is fine because there's a complexity of if if uh, so we can make it better but let's do it uh, later now so right now let's focus on the functionality what we are going to build okay next step is just to write the three lines of code first we will be generating the token and then we will be creating the confirmation link in that link we will be appending to the URL 
what which URL this one uh, like uh, like I am on a local host so on a local host uh, my URL is local host call and port number and then this controller name and action name so this URL will be append to that token and will become a confirmation link and when and when the confirmation link is created we will be sending it to the user via email so let's write this three lines of code so I don't have to write it again because uh, I already generated and I've done everything before this video so let's save the time and save it here so you can have a look at what I have written I have generated a token var token is equals to user manager in the user manager we don't have to generate the token manually or by any third party library we have a built-in method generate email confirmation token async so this is the beauty of the uh, core identity of this framework so we don't have to write the code we get everything what we are required so it generates the confirmation token according to the user and the token is saved in this variable and then you can have a look in the next line that we are generating the confirmation link and how we are generating the confirmation link url dot action and what is the action here which we created the get method when we when we will click the confirmation link this action will get triggered okay uh, and this is the controller name for this kind of action we need to create we should create another uh, one uh, controller but right now I'm not <laughs> interested to, to create uh, it or now we will refactor the code later and the next thing which is taken is the token and uh, token email user dot email so this is the code all you have to write this and the next line is that I'm generating the message uh, which I just implement in the last video that how can we send the email so these two lines of code represents to send the email so first we generate the message and then we are sending the message to the yes this by using this method send email so we had created this email service in the last one so this is the user email uh, we are sending to that user and this is the title of uh, email and this is the body in the body we are just sending the confirmation email okay uh, right now so what is this I think uh, something user created and email sent to alright let's use in string interpolation user dot email okay now it's time to test this uh, let's run let's flip to the visual uh, sorry SQL server for checking we have a, a table name as ASP.NET user token so right now this table is empty okay uh, I think the swagger is ready now let's move to the browser okay so this is the authentication let's try it out and I'm providing the role as ad admin and username sh would be like uh, let's provide my name Salman okay. and I'm providing my email address and let's type the password a b c d at the rate one two three okay let's click this execute button all right so you can have a look that uh, the message is success and user created an email sent to the email i which i provided that okay let's check uh, the email now let's move to the gmail all right guys so you can have a look that i have received a confirmation link when you look uh, into the confirmation link you will see a url that we were talking about the url is localhost 44303 so i uh, sent this uh, verification code or hyperlink through the localhost so that is why the url is uh, here the localhost is displaying in the url when we'll be sending it uh, through the production 
एस आई टी टेस्टिंग एनवायरमेंट और डेवलपमेंट एनवायरमेंट द यू आर एल विल बी द डिफरेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू द एनवायरमेंट एंड दिस इज स्लैश ए पी आई अथेंटिकेशन एंड इट विल बी हिटिंग दिस विद द टोकन एंड द यूजर ई मेल सो दिस लॉन्ग स्ट्रिंग इज द टोकन ओके लेट्स क्लिक दिस एंड चेक वॉट हैपन एंड वेन आई क्लिक दिस वन सो यू कैन हैव अ लुक इट रीडायरेक्ट्स मी to a new page and saying that email verified successfully that uh, means my user email has been verified successfully now let's flip to the visual studio okay the token is being deleted and let's check all these three tables so you can have a look i created this user with this email and you can have a look with the previous one email confirm was 00 that means these are not verified and this one has been verified because i have clicked uh, that hyperlink or token so i hope this video uh, uh, finds you really helpful if you really like this video then please like share and subscribe we will be exploring the more thing related to asp.net core identity in the next video then please stay tuned subscribe to my channel see you in the next video take care love is